Miss Dora, you're back. I'm back. I know, Mr. Dora, you never go away. You just keep on coming back. You're like that Energizer Bunny. You keep going and going. Hey, ooh, what's this guy? Look at this guy. Look like he's a deep thought. Oh my goodness. What is he thinking about? He's on a soccer field. He has a backpack. He's contemplating. I know. He's contemplating the origin of the universe. <laughs> I don't that is pretty cool. But hey, you know what? We have a lesson to do. That's right. I hope you guys are doing well. Hey, welcome aboard. So great to have you. Woohoo! Fifth graders rock, don't they? Yes, they do. I'm glad I'm a fifth grade teacher now. We have lesson 9.2. My goodness, we're way up there now. There's only a couple more chapters after this one. And topic over there, ordered pairs. What are ordered pairs? Oh my goodness, we have a lot of vocabulary, looks like. Let's go ahead and take the essential question because without that, we have no direction. That's right. It'd be like, where are we going? What do you mean you want to go hiking, Mr. War up Mount Whitney? Do you have a map? Do you have a GPS device? No, we need direction. Our essential question, that's it. It's our focus. It's our purpose. It's our learning target. <laughs> now, it says, how can you identify and plot points on a coordinate grid? Oh, my goodness. A lot of words there. Plot points coordinate grid i'm confused hey mr wara we can do this it says connect locating a point on a coordinate grid is similar to describing directions using north south and west east okay i like it although i usually hear it say north south east west but that's okay they switched it around now the horizontal number oh, i know why they switched it around because yes you're going from left to right I get it. Okay, the horizontal number line on the grid is the x-axis, and the vertical number line on the grid is the y-axis. Well, we'll come back to this to make sure that you guys understand all of this. A lot of terms. Each point on the coordinate grid can be described by an ordered pair of numbers. The x-coordinate is the first number in the ordered pair. An ordered pair makes it like a pair of shoes, right? So we have two numbers. So it sounds like to me we have two numbers. And one's going to be the x-coordinate, and the other one's going to be a y, like x, y. Oh, just like the diagram right below. Can you see the arrows pointing? Yeah, it's pointing there. Okay, so I get it now. So that's the horizontal location, or the distance the point is from zero in the direction of the x-axis. The y-coordinate is the second number in the ordered pair, and it is the vertical location, which we'll say is like north and south. Okay, or up and down, or the distance the point is from zero in the direction of direction of the y axis. And there you go. It shows the x coordinate, y coordinate, and it says the x axis and the y axis intersect at the point zero zero, which is called the origin. Which is kind of interesting. We were talking about the origin of the universe. There it is. The origin is the beginning. Okay. Now, of course, before we can do any of that, you guys are aware. What are we looking at? You got it. Unlock the problem. That's right, my friends. This is real world, baby. Real world. Okay. Yes, it is. Now, we will look at all that terminology, you know, the math terms. We'll look at that as we do this problem to make sure that all of this makes sense because this may be brand new. It says write the ordered pairs for the locations of the arena and the aquarium. It says locate the point for which you want to write an ordered pair. I see it right there. Look below at the x-axis to identify the point's horizontal distance from zero, which is its x-coordinate. So we are looking from zero. This is where I'm going to get my magic pen. Magic pen. I used to use this all the time. I rarely use it. Here's the origin. This is the origin right here. I'll even color it in. See that right there? Okay, Mr. Wara. You went a little bit crazy. That's way... No, that's just being really sloppy. It looks like the planet Saturn there with a ring around it. Okay. Oh, but it's all clean. So let's be a little bit neater. This is the origin right here. This is called the origin. Because the X here is zero and the Y is zero. Look at the X isn't going across. There's no horizontal movement. And there's no vertical movement. It's right there at the origin, the beginning. Okay? And as we move across this X axis, we are moving horizontally. See that? Follow the line. Whee! Okay, that's moving horizontally, and that, my friend, is called the x-axis. Look at that. Ooh, is that pretty or what? And it is. And then you know what? If you want to move up in a vertical, that's right. We call that the y-axis. 
And look at that. Oh, I had to tilt my head sideways. I can't see it. Okay, so you get the idea. So that's what we're doing. So it does say that we're going to look at the x-axis first. And I can see that, look at where arena is. Yeah, it's right there on the three. And then it says look to the left at the y-axis to identify the points vertical. Notice the words we're using is vertical. That's your north and south right there. And horizontal, which is your east and west. But here they try to say it west and east because technically west is on your left-hand side. All right. Ooh, I know you're just watching going, they just keep disappearing. That magic pen, Mr. War, that's something else. I know. Pretty cool. And so that looks like it's at two. So the way we write the ordered pair for the arena is three, two. Because remember, X comes before Y. That's how we do it. So that means the X is three and the Y is two. Woo! See, back in the old days when I gave up my little code word, a lot of you guys see me put letters up to spell a word at the end of the video. That's what I used to use is my little magic pen, and then it would just disappear you know didn't always work i had problems trust me okay so the ordered pair for the aquarium that's what we need to do so i need to get a regular pen so i'm going to go ahead and do the same thing so with my aquarium I'm looking down to identify the point on the horizontal do i have to do a dotted line i do not i could but i don't need to i see it's lined up with a nine so i'm going to say nine and then when i look over to my vertical the y-axis i see the four maybe i should show you with arrows see the arrow yeah it's all showing you where the x-axis is and where the y-axis is. That means it's going to be 9, 4. Oh, I like that color. Now, this comes in handy. So now let's just go ahead and go back and see if some of these words make a little bit more sense now. So we had the x-axis. Now we know the x-axis is at 1 going across. The y-axis is the vertical going up and down. The ordered pair. Now we know the ordered pair. Yeah, it's just two numbers. One number is the x-coordinate. It's the x and the y-coordinate is the y. We already know the origin, remember, was that zero, 00 that I described, and I got a little, bit, a little bit too crazy with my magic pen. Look at that. Like all those words starting to make a little bit more sense now? Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. Now it says, describe the path you would take to get from the origin to the aquarium using horizontal, then vertical movements. Okay, I like that. Well, the way I would describe it, I'd have to say, first of all, I would get a taxi because I don't feel like walking that far. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I, what would I do? I would say, first, I would have to go to the right. Yes, I'm going to go to the right. Go to the right all the way down to nine. Woo. Okay. And then I guess you would say I would go up because on the page it looks like up. I would go north. North four units because it's four units high. And that's pretty much it. That's what I would say. All right. Boy, this was too easy. I would go to the right. I think I said to the right. I don't want to go to the left. I would go off the grid. I'm going to go to the right. But the key thing is to the right nine units. And then I would go up four units, I think I said. Now, math talks, use the x and y coordinates to describe the distance of the point 3, 2 from the x and y axes. Well, the x axis, the x coordinate there, lets me know that I'm going to really go horizontally three, and then, so that's what telling me to go three units to the right, I suppose, and the y-axis is telling me to go up two. I think that's what I mean. By the way, axes is plural for axis, okay? Good old English and its little crazy rules. Axes is more than one. All right, like when you're having a crisis, you say, oh my goodness, I'm having a crisis. Well, if you have more than one, that wouldn't be fun. You're having a crisis. Okay, so the key thing here, what's your, a pitfall? A pitfall is something that make you trip and you're going to be falling like in a hole. You don't want that. So if you're having problems, and I'm going to tell you what it is. This is what I see a lot of students do, is they switch these numbers around. Okay, think about it. If we have 3, 2, which is what the arena is, and then we decide to say, oh, I'm not going to pay attention the order I put my X and Y coordinates in, what are you going to end up with? X is 2, Y is 3. Look at that. You end up over here. Look at that. Don't fall in that trap. Okay, so be very, very careful. And always remember, X goes first. X comes before Y in the alphabet, right? So seems simple enough, one would think. You know, I'll show my caveman a few of these little tricks. I bet they get it. All right, now, page master. Look at that, we're already on the second page. So now it's all about where we're doing a little bit more independent. They give us some examples, things we have to work through. Looks like we still have some steps here. But let's see how we can do. I love doing this kind of stuff. We're working our way in algebra. I'm telling you, my friends, this is like getting you into the area of doing parabolas and functions and all kinds of, you're going to be graphing functions on a coordinate grid. Oh, you're going to see. This is the first step getting to there. Example one says use the graph. 
Okay, a point on a coordinate grid can be labeled with an ordered pair, a letter, or both. Okay, it looks like they've done both in our graph here. Now it does say from the origin, move right five units and then up seven units, which is what our graph shows. Cameraman? Okay, thank you. Okay, see how it's showing the red arrows going across, right, horizontally to the right and then up. The only thing you guys need to learn this year is just you need to know that you're going to go right and then up. Okay. Okay. But right now, that's all we have to worry about. And this is a plot and label the point. Okay. So now it says plot the point eight zero and label it S. Okay. And we're on our own on this one here. Okay. So from the origin, remember zero, zero, I'm going to move right eight units. So I'm going to come all the way over here. But then why is this zero? So I'm not going anywhere. Then put right here on the actual X axis. Okay. Now it does say it's going to be labeled S and then I'm going to put the ordered pair 8, 0, nice. So I moved right 8 units and I went up 0 and plot and label the point and I kind of already did that. Oops, I did it before I read again. Please don't tell my boss. Okay, now come on down to example 2. Whoa, yeah, it looks like it's just getting more complicated. Okay, find the distance between two points. Oh, cool. It says you can find the distance between two points when the points are along the same horizontal or vertical line. All right. These two look like they're on the same vertical line, A and B. Draw a line segment to connect point A and B. Okay. There we go. Woo. I like my line. Okay. Let's just count vertical units between the two points. I can do that. Count between. Give my pad magic pen for this. One, two three, four, uh, what comes back? Oh, five, six. Well, I count six. Cool. Six units between point A and point B. Points A and B. Yay. It says points A and B from a vertical line segment and have the same X coordinates. They do. They both have nine. How can you use subtraction to find the distance between the points? Oh, I like this. Okay, I'm gonna have to go back up a little bit so you can see the problem. Okay. And so I can see the problem here. So the X coordinates are the same. Oh, I already see it. Do you see it? Yeah. What we could do is we could just subtract the Y coordinates because the X coordinates are the same. See, since the X coordinates represent the same location on the vertical axis, you could just subtract the Y coordinates to find the vertical distance. Nine minus three equals six. So the distance is six units. Cool. All right, I'm gonna put that down. And there we go. Now. It says graph the points 3, 2, and 5, 2. Explain how you can use subtraction to find the horizontal distance between these two points. Okay, let's go ahead and graph these. We have 3, 2, that would be right here. And then we also have 5, 2, 5, 2, which is right here. Now I do see, I didn't know if it, it didn't ask me to put in a line segment, but I did. So I see 1, 2. I just see two units. And what's interesting is this is just the opposite. This kind of actually reminds me of this game Battleship. You ever played Battleship? Yeah, it's like a coordinate grid. It looks just like it. You could put your battleship like this one here. In fact, the one that has two, what is that? That's the tugboat. And then here you got six, and I don't think any of them have six, I don't think. Battleship has four, and the battle yeah, and the carrier has five. So wouldn't that be like a mega carrier have six? But that's exactly how you place them on your board. And this looks just like it, so... We have two units. So how do I know? Well, they both have the y-axis of 2, so I would just subtract the x. 5 minus 3 equals 2. So it's exactly like up here, but I'm just going to refer to the x. So let me go ahead and put that down. And there you go, almost word for word from above. You know, we have the same thing. The y-coordinates were what represented the same location, whereas before it was the x-coordinates. It's just the opposite. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Hey, hey, hey. Hello, hello. It is the end of another video. Woo, boy, these videos, they just keep going faster and faster every time. My friends, I'm so grateful that you come along and you watch these videos, and then I hope you're learning as much as I am because, you know, we're all teachers, we're all students, and I'm grateful for your participation. Now, live long and prosper.